Okay. Okay, now in the lower submerged passage again. We're trying to find our way to the Emperor's Road, it looks like. Alright, since I have a new passive. Hmm, I should go back there, but I'm so close to getting Firewalker. 12% damage is kind of nice. That's closer. I think I'll go towards that direction first. Oh, hey, I've earned two respect points. Okay. I have no more respect points. I'm getting hit, by the way. I do know this. Okay, cool. I can just do that. Although, I don't know... What gave me the respect points? I think I might have gotten those as quest rewards. I see that these portals are yellow on my map. Seriously, zombie, come along. So, the respect points weren't what I was expecting. I was kind of expecting being able to just reset my tree entirely. And it turns out that respect points... What was that, the flooded depths? No, I've already been there. I thought it would reset my tree entirely, but no, it actually just lets me go back a few steps. Um, this can be useful, like example in this example, I was able to just kind of backtrack a little bit and get myself closer to the skill I had meant to pick up earlier. But I'm a little saddened that it's not allowing you uh, full respect. <clears throat> but then again, I would probably care more or feel better about it if I knew exactly where I got those points from. Uh, were this not a beta weekend, of course, I would be probably reading all of the text that the NPCs had to give me so that I could uh, appropriately make decisions like that. So downside to playing quickly. Oh, look at this. I... I almost feel like I'm back in the maggot lair. It's not quite that closed in, but... All these... creepy crawlies and... closed in spaces. I really kind of like how these... crustaceans lose their shell and then start attacking you after in a different manner. They like lose the shell and then so they start attacking you with their spines or whatever shooting you at a distance because their armor is gone A gym leveled up, but look how many gems I have on my right side uh, on my screen now. So many of them so close to leveling. percent increased critical strike chance. You know, that's misleading. I bet you that's just increases what your base is. 
I'm so used when when they say increases your critical strike by like for example, Diablo will say increases your critical strike by five percent. It literally means you will get a five percent additional chance to crit. This, on the other hand, just means it'll increase what I currently have as crit. So. Let's see. Spell critical strike chance, so 9.3. Of course, because it's not identified. Alright, I'll blow an identify just for this. Hmm, that's when they get lightning damage and stun duration. Okay. Let's just take a look. 9.3 becomes 11.7. Interesting. It adds something. What is it adding? Oh, it's adding a stun duration. Oh, increased stun duration on enemies. Okay. Alright, take that back off. No need. Really? Stop it. Stop at Jerks. I'm trying to be analytical and do a video here. <sighs> Monsters are so... Yeah, they're just jerks. They don't understand. Okay, so what if I got to level up? Okay, fireball level 3 and fireball level 2. So that goes up to 3. And this is 3, so that'll go up to 4. It's currently 7 to 10 fire. Now it's 10 to 14. I haven't been looking to see if the critical strike chance would go up. So I'll have to look at that next time. Critical strike chance 6%. Okay. Hmm. I think I'll wear this, the maximum mana over that maximum life ring. Upper Submerged Passage. And I lost my zombie. Cool. Freezing Pulse, 6 to 9. Oh, I didn't look at the other stats again. Oh well. It's level 4 because of the plus 1 to the socket. Is it? Hold on. Oh, it is level 4, but in here it should be level 5. Oh, it's all the 18 cold. I am here and I'm making comparisons to Diablo, I would say one of the things that I kind of wish they had in this game, and being beta, it's very possible they're not it, 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 that they change this because they're not done with content yet, but I kind of miss having chat, uh, um, quest chat, like the NPCs actually talking to one another or talking to me. Having the quest dial, or having the quest text actually read out loud, you know, voice acting, uh, would be kind of nice. Now, there's two things about that, though. Again, this is beta, and they only just added the Act 2 boss, right? So, we're far from done. There's always a chance that they go into it, but then again, there's also the fact that this being a free-to-play game might not exactly have the budget for voice acting. 
Hard to say. Not every game has to be voice acted, it's just once you get used to it, it's kind of nice to have. Unless the voice acting is bad. We've all run across that, right? I've heard some cringe-worthy worthy voice acting. Okay, there's the ledge. I kind of want to explore a little more just to see if there's anything around here. I say these zones are pretty huge. I'm tearing apart these monsters, really. Let's see, raise zombie. One zombie, 24% damage, 59 life. Thirty-two damage, 105 life. Mm -hmm. Still can only have one zombie up. I think I can only increase that by going into the No wait. I have two up? How in the... Why can I have two zombies? Could I always have had two and I just didn't know this? can raise up to one zombie at a time. It doesn't say that I can have only one zombie, it just says I can only raise one. So maybe I always could have had two. I Okay, that is something I really think they're going to have to work on communicating, honestly, with some of these skills. Some of these skills just really don't communicate clearly what they do. Alright, well, uh, let's go this way. Well, look how massive this is, really. I'm just going to kind of move around here. Look at that. All that, and there's a whole bunch of space up here that I haven't even touched on. I'm going to go ahead and look around some more. Having two zombies is rather nice. I wish I could find a summon skeleton ability. Blue and red, huh? Could I move my detonate dead somewhere? Could move it to my wand. This has got 17 armor, 6 energy shield. It's got 11. I guess I'll keep what I've got for now. It's kind of a difficult choice, you know, when you get in a hybrid armor. Stuff that can give you energy energy shield plus a little bit of evasion, or energy shield plus a little bit of damage reduction. 
uh, being a witch and basically having intellect being my primary attribute, I should probably stick to just the cloth items that are uh, items that are plus int or plus energy shield because my intelligence will directly enhance that uh, quite a bit, actually. Whereas if I were a Templar, obviously, I would focus on the combination of energy shield and damage reduction. As he is a strength intelligence user, he will boost both of those stats, boosting neither one of them a lot. Wow, so many monsters. I mean, this I can't say the world is not populated. My goodness. Thankfully, Fireball has Splash. These monsters are all over the place. Alright, uh, detonate dead. 3 to 5, explosion is 18%. Critical strike is 4.5. 4.5 still, 4 to 6. Okay. Seems to have done it. Just kind of look at how big this. <laughs> wow. This is kind of crazy, honestly. I'm kind of interested to see what kind of bosses I'm running across. You know, it's, if they haven't added the bosses in right away, it makes me just wonder how epic they might be. Alright, we're on the ledge. Fireball just seems to be that much more efficient at killing groups of enemies. Oh good, a medium mana flask. What can I level up? Oh, Viper Strike. It's because I need dexterity. Well, it's level 2 now. See, I don't know if the stash is shareable. I should really look into that. Because if it is, I could just give these gems to another character. So here's the interesting thing. I say that the second act boss has only just been added, but it doesn't mean that they haven't reached uh, or haven't started working a lot of the in-game content. They actually have. They've actually got a random map system where you can basically put these key map pieces together in, in kind of a puzzle and create a random map and based on what you put in it you can increase the difficulty or increase um, rare item drops across all the monsters if you've ever played um, what would be the closest I could think of that? I think the closest I could think of would be Dot .hack in the dot .hack games, you had these um, world gates, and those gates used a keyword system, So, and the keywords seemed like nonsense, right? But each keyword had a chance of certain things happening. Um, some keywords would have minimal to no monsters, some would have more, uh, some would guarantee a dungeon would spawn. That's kind of what you're looking at with the map system in this game. Totems. Okay. That apparently was a bug that I had two zombies, and now I'm sad that I lost it. However, I'm about to make it not a bug. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we now present the Lord of the Dead. Aww. And I can go into here and uh, you can see I can go left to give more uh, life. Here's 10% uh, more life. This one is 15% damage. And over here I have an additional minions. Again, one more zombie, one more skeleton, one more specter. So I haven't even got any of those. Uh, I'm tempted to do that just so I can have those and I might not go into these yet those are going to be nice to have but I still want to move my way up but since I haven't found any curses maybe I won't worry about it just go ahead and get my minions built up I mean that's what this entire central hub is all about right here minions is that oh wow mana recovery from flasks see you can find you can go all sorts of different directions here this was the mana generation route and increase mana, mana regeneration, additional life, and well, increase maximum energy shield, uh, maximum mana, and intelligence. That's pretty cool. The route I went was more damage dealing. This, so the left route I went is more for damage. The right route is more for efficiency. That's pretty cool. I like this one. I'm, I might go into that blast radius. Uh, increase radius of area skills. I think that would include fireball since it blows into an area. I still kind of want to go into firewalker because I'm using fire so much. I could go left into firewalker and then I could go around here to increase my area of effect skills. Power charges. See, that would be nice. I just never have gotten a power charge yet. So I might just do that, and this will be my long-term goal, but for now I'll just focus on some of the smaller areas. Is that spell damage? That's spell damage. That's spell damage. I might do that instead of increasing the area, because my area effects aren't that great. Hmm. We'll see. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and move on. Don't have to look into that too much. So it pretty much shows that there's all sorts of directions you can go. Again, I kind of think of it as the sphere grid from Final Fantasy X. I could go any direction I want on the sphere grid. Eventually, if I were to get, say, enough level, I could possibly get almost all the items on this, on this grid. Uh, although, I don't think that would work in this game, because I'm pretty sure there is a level cap in this game, and I'm pretty sure that cap is much higher than the total number of nodes on the passive tree. My guess is you would eventually get um, respect points once you hit maximum level, and you would probably get those more frequently, so you can start moving backwards and changing up your build to try different builds. Okay, do I need to... I don't really need to go back. I'm going to go ahead and put that mana flask on. So there we go. I have a bunch of mana flasks now. Zombie minions, kill, slaughter, destroy. I want to slaughter your world. Something's coming up for level here. Oh, Firestorm. Yes, please. I would love for Firestorm to actually become an ability that I feel more compelled to use. Oh, hey, a wand. Should look at some of these a bit more often. I've been kind of glossing over a lot of items. This one is a 6 to 11 compared to my 3 to 7, although that's 3 to 7 plus 1 to 3 and plus 1 to 8. So minimum damage is like 5, however, 
Its top end damage is like 18. has more minimum. It's got plus. It's got 11% increased spell damage though. That's going to be the big thing. Uh, it's cold resist and rarity of items. 10% increased spell damage. That's only 11. It does have a blue and a green though. That blue will become important as it's another spell I can slot onto it. I think I'll go ahead and use it because it is 1% more damage. And... Yeah, I'm not too worried about the damages. I'm not using my wand hardly at all right now. So the loss of the maximum damage is no big. Uh, I've increased my minimum damage, so that's good. I got plenty of mana potions, so it's not like I can't start using those. Is that one recovery speed and dispels frozen? Okay. Ah, oh, my zombies keep dying. Yeah, if I'm gonna go, if I'm gonna keep uh, depending upon minions, I'm gonna have to change that. Eleven to sixteen fire damage, and this is fourteen to nineteen. Firestorm technically should hit just as hard. It just doesn't feel as good. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I can't really feel that it's hitting them. It's hard for me to really tell. Wow. Kuduku, the false god. Save me, zombies! Ugh. Right. Scepters? No. I guess the reason is, is it's... Yeah. See, I can see it hitting them there, but... It still feels like it does more damage. could possibly pop it down and hit with other abilities. Every time I turn around, I'm having to resurrect a zombie. Alright, Firestorm can hit to level 3 here, so 11 to 16. Where is my Firestorm? Fireball. Raise zombies, fireball. There it is. 14 to 21, not bad. I feel like my freezing one hasn't leveled up that much. You know, I wonder if it's because it's getting at plus one. It is level four. What's my fireball at? Four. The 
rocky climb. So it looks like I've got quite a distance ahead of me here. Let's see why they gave me a waypoint. Alright, this says the monster level is now 9. What is mine? 9. So they're on equal footing to me. Out, out of the fire. <sighs> it's so hard to find worthwhile minions nowadays. Now I know what Cobra Commander and Megatron go through. Really. Oh, ow, ow, ow. It's at this point, I don't really have a quest to turn in. I don't have a quest here. I'm supposed to be finding this uh, road, you know. The Emperor's Road. I mean, there's no other quest for me here. It's just go forth, be conquered, go forth and die. That's pretty much what I'm doing right now. Increased spell damage and it's got two blue. Hold on to that. That's impressive. I'm not expecting arrows to fall from the sky onto my head. Not at all. Oh, who are you? Iron Point the Forsaken. Hits accurately, rain of arrows, split arrows. Come on, actually hit the target. Oh dear. Did you drop anything worthwhile? Not really, huh? Elemental damage, huh? Alright, yay. Okay. Back, back, back. Oh. These guys are seriously making me contemplate what I'm about to do. I loved being a necromancer in D2, even though they died. They, they, did, they seemed to die fairly quick too, but at least they killed things. What am I leveling up? Fireball. Okay, that's the second fireball I have. This could just be a very bad spot for minions. I don't know. Let's keep going and hope for the best.
Lower prison. Interesting. Okay. Um, I'm wondering if that's a side dungeon or what. Let's... Take a look further over here, I guess. There is more to explore. on the ground are kind of <clears throat> wrecking the days of my zombies. <laughs> you know, they are zombies. They aren't too bright. Their brains are pretty much rotting out. Oh, here we go. I got up here and there is no alternate location, so I am going in the right direction. That's, that's it. But, hey, at least I found the waypoint. That makes this a little easier. Let's get back to town. I'm gonna sell stuff. Alright, don't need the evasion. It's armor and energy shield, that's just armor. 13 armor. Yeah, but it's got the link, so... Strength and dex, that's useless to me. 15 strength, 15 hit, and I just don't have the strength. That's Templar material there. I'm gonna hold on to that, because it's too blue. Decks, I cannot use it. Oh, hey, I have life regen per minute on that. Yes, forgot about that. Evasion 8, energy shield 3, 9, and 3. This has got a blue and a red. Yeah, I better keep what I've got. Go ahead and get rid of the old wand. Well, okay, look at all this extra stuff I'm just holding on to. I can't seem to shift click these into my Yes, yeah, so I can't shift click into my stash for some of these, which is kind of a shame. And some of these just aren't stacking the way they should. I don't know why. There we go. I have got a gem I cannot upgrade. That is the Viper Strike. Let's go ahead and find it and pull it out. That's an orb. Go ahead and put that out. There. Finally a semi-clean stash. I'll go ahead and put this... Oops. Over there, just in case I need it. 